Let's bring you some details to that story um, from the National Assembly. Just hours after the announcement of principal officers in the Senate and the House of Reps, the APC National Working Committee says it's not aware of the conclusion made by the National Assembly, uh, the leadership of the National Assembly, on the nomination of its principal officers. Uh, National Chairman Abdullahi Adabu did say the tradition before now is a written letter that communicates the party's position. It says whatever announcement made by the National Assembly leadership, according to him, is not from the party. Quickly, let's um, just run you through the principal officers as announced by the President of the Senate, Gautulak Pabio, earlier today at Tuesday's plenary session. Senate leader is Okoyemi Bamadili from Ekiti Centra. Senate Deputy Leader is Dave Omai from Eboin South. The Senate Chief Whip is Ali Undume from Boni South. And um, Senator Deputy, Senate Deputy Chief Whip is Lola Ashiru, who's from Kwara South. After the announcement, the appointed lawmakers were immediately ushered to the front row of the chambers where they will sit during uh, future plenary sessions. And shortly after a 10-minute executive session, the names of the minority leadership uh, was also announced, which includes Simon McDuock, uh, who's minority leader, PDP, uh, he's, from, he's with the PDP, and is from Plateau North, Oyewumi Olaliri, is the deputy minority leader, also a member of the People's Democratic Party, who is from Oshun State. Darlington Wokocha is a minority whip. He is a member of the Labour Party from Abia Centra. And then we have a member of the NNPP from Kano Centra being the deputy minority whip. His name is Rufai Hanga. And shortly after all of that, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Stajudin Abbas, also reviewed the new principal officers of the 10th House of Representatives, they will include, they include Julius Honvere, who is a member of the APC from Edo State. He's the House Majority Leader. Halims Abdullahi, a member of the APC, who's from Kogi State, is the Deputy Majority Leader. And the Chief Whip is Belo Kumo, an APC member from Gombe. The Deputy Chief Whip is Adewumi Onanuga uh, from Ogun State. Mr. Bass also read a letter from the Minority Caucus, which detailed the names of the principal officers. We have Kingsley Chinda of the PDP, who is the minority leader, Aliyu Madaki, a member of the NNPP, who is deputy minority leader and the minority whip, uh, and deputy minority whip is Ali Isa of the PDP and George Ozodinobi of the Labour Party, respectively. Our correspondent monitoring uh, developments on the floor of the Senate, Tijesu Adoye, joins me now for more on this story. Tijesu, talk to us about the mood on the floor of the chamber when this list was announced and what exactly were the reactions you captured from the senators? Yes, Nip, I mean, the mood was surprisingly calm. If you take a look at the, you know, backlash and the protests you got to see online by some suspected senators who, you know, threatened fire and brimstone and all of that, if their choices were not announced. But um, surprisingly, the mood was calm after the announcement was, was made. That may be as a result of the, probably the, the Senate president's welcome address, because before the Senate uh, took off its proceedings today, uh, the Senate president actually appealed to his colleagues, you know, to set aside all their differences and whatever they have their party affiliations and any personal or, you know, general interest in the interest of the nation and emphasize the need for law for, for lawmakers to work together you know as one as one senate he says senators being there after being elected and being members of the senate they no longer you know that he doesn't he no longer recognizes them um, parties or any other affiliation they recognize them as one senate and a senate that represents the people and that is how it should stand so this major, the comments we actually witnessed after, you know, the announcement was, was made may just, you know, actually relate to, you know, the president of the Senate appeal. But after um, the Senate proceedings, we actually got some reactions from the lawmakers. Not all of them were entirely pleased with the selection, but of course, because, you know, they have been appealed to, to just accept everything in good faith and, you know, in the interest of the nation, mm. they have agreed, you know, to work with what has already been announced. They said, though, yes, it, it's not all, all um, choices that were made were actually, you know, they are actually satisfied with all choices that were made, but 
they are ready to actually work with what has already been announced in the interest of the nation. It would seem that all the geopolitical zones have been satisfied when you add the principal officers to this list. And um, we'll see how the reactions will follow in the coming days. But quickly, if you can, in a minute, just help us compare the way these principal officers emerged relative to what you saw during the Ninth Assembly. Uh, a lawmaker we spoke to after um, the Senate proceedings actually said, um, yes, they are actually satisfied with how um, the, the, the selections were made across the geopolitical zones as a spread, because, of course, you know, the Senate president comes from the south-south and the deputy Senate president comes from the northwest. And, of course, looking at this, um, other principal officers, as the presiding officers already come from this zone, other principal officers cannot come from these particular zones. But um, the lawmaker was actually raising an issue uh, uh, minor, uh, of concerning the minority deputy chief whip, saying that he also comes from the same area as where the deputy Senate president comes from. He's from Kano. He represents Kano Central. And he says uh, the, that, that this uh, de the deputy minority whip is also from Kano. And so it also is sort of an imbalance. But he says, going, going by what has already been announced, you are already ready, you know, to just put aside whatever differences and whatever, okay. you know, grievances they may have, and they are ready to work as one Senate. So just, you know, Adelia, live for us in Abuja. Thank you for your contribution. I'm joined